again everyone um, so I mentioned in my last video that I was working on a book that I had written um, about the whole COVID-19 situation which I have just finished and put together it's a bit rough looking which it's supposed to be because it's sort of made during these times where we don't have uh, access to certain materials so you've got to use what you've got on hand um, so here it is, it's called Emmeline in Quarantine, and I'm going to try and read it and not stuff up, <laughs> so here we go. I don't much remember the world outside these walls. The most contact I have with the outside is with Grandma on phone calls. Dad says if we go outside we might make others sick. Mum says we might catch the virus even if we're only out for a tick. It's been 30 days in quarantine, but it's okay because I engineered myself a submarine. I can spend hours exploring underwater tombs, all from the comfort of my lounge room. When I get tired of captaining my vessel, it's alright because it doubles as a place for my head to nestle. I simply won't let these walls confine me when I can create worlds that others can't see. On Monday, I piloted a, a hot air balloon. On Tuesday, I became a zookeeper and fed baboons. On Wednesday, I was an astronaut exploring space. On Thursday, I participated in a swimming race. On Friday, I worked in pet rescue. Then on Saturday, I went for another job interview. And today, I decided to accept an offer for a position as head scientist. Because a world without COVID-19 would be absolute bliss. For now, I won't let it get me down because I much prefer to smile than frown. Now enough about me. There are a squillion and three things you could be. So that is my book. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm probably going to attach the images after this. Uh, so that if you're a parent or a grandparent, you can read it yourself your children. So yeah, that's all and I will see you guys next time.